Good evening. <clears throat> Today, January the 31st, 2024, we are um, going to do the Bible study. The theme and text. The theme is Job, prayer for his children. And the text is taken from Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. But before I get into the subject at hand, <clears throat> I just would like to have a word of prayer. Father, Tonight I thank you, I thank you for your love, and I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you, God, because you, God, is our God. You have set the captive free, you have healed the sick, and you have raised the dead. I thank you for this evening for giving us the opportunity to sit at your feet. Continue to bless all those who are on the platform this evening. And just give us the insight and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that we could look into your word and see, thus said the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, I would like to welcome you all. <clears throat> Today I would like to read from two versions of the Bible, two Bible versions, the New King James Version and the Amplified Version. Like I said, the text is taken from Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. First, I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. Job 1, verse 1 to 5. There was a man in the land of Oz, whose name was Job. And that man was blameless and upright, and one who reverent, feared God, and abstained from and shun evil because it was wrong. And they were born to him seven sons and three daughters. He possessed 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yokes of oxen, and 500 female donkeys, and a very great body of servants so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east his sons used to go and feast in the house of each of his day or each birthday they would feast in his house in turn they would invite their sister three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the day of their feasting were over, Job sent for them to purify and allow them. And he rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, It might be that my sons 
have sinned and cursed or disowned God in their hearts. Thus, they job at all times. He did this. That was from the Amplified Version. The New King James Version says, There was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job. And that man was blameless and upright and one who feared God and shun evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. Also his possessions were 7,000 sheep 3,000 camels, 500 yokes of oxen, and 500 female donkeys, and a very large household, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. And his sons would go and feast in their houses, each on his appointed day and would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. So it was when the day of feasting had come, when the day of feasting had run their course, that Job would send and sanctify them. And he would raise early in the morning and offer burnt offering according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did regularly. Now, The overall theme or the central theme of the book of Job is the suffering of the righteous or why the righteous suffer. The story of Job is ancient, somewhere from the second millennium, 2000 to 1000 BC. His genealogy starts as far back as to Abraham from his brother Nehar. And you can find that in the scripture of Genesis 22, verse 20 to 21. Scholars believe that the land of us is located in the region of Edom which is in the modern day Jordan and Southern Israel. So the question for me tonight and for you to ponder is why did Job pray for his children? He was regularly acting as a priest of his family. And he always prayed for their spiritual purity. So because Job was blameless and upright and feared God, abstained from and shun evil because evil was wrong. But to fear God, this involves being at awe of Him, being in reverence of Him, and loving Him, and trusting in Him. So Job was in awe of God. 
He reverenced God. He loved God. And he trusted in him. Proverbs 1, 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, Job, having the fear of God, that tells you that Job was the beginning of knowledge. Job, because of his fear of God, his reverence of God, that gives Job insight and knowledge. There was something about what was happening at the feast in this in his son's house um, that Job was not pleased with, and he think might have been sinful. So, in the morning, early in the morning. He said, when the party was over, this is where Job sanctifies his sons. He said, when the party was over, Job would get up early in the morning and sacrifice a burnt offering for each of his children, thinking maybe one of them sinned. Maybe one of them sinned. And the sinning by defying God's inwardly. So he made a habit of this sacrificial atonement just in case they have sinned. Yes. Job made that habit of sacrificing and sacrificing a animal so that um, atoning for the sins. Job understand eventually that none of their sin could be forgiven unless a sacrifice was offered up on their behalf. Yes. So, he offered up the sacrifice for each of them. So Job was doing this thing constantly. If you see, there were seven sons. Job did not Job did not only make the sacrifice for the sons. The Bible say that, but the Word of God said. On verse number. Five, Job. So it was when the day of fast feasting had run its course that Job would send and sanctify them, and he would raise up early in the morning and offer burnt offering according to the number of them all. So not so they were. According to the, the word of God, there were other folks, other people within the, fe the feasting. So, not only that Job 
sacrifice for his children, whoever else were part of the feasting, Job did sacrifice and offer up offering for each individual. So I'm thinking what kind of prayer Job might have prayed for his sons and by extension the rest of the family or the rest of the friends. So I just want to pray a prayer that I, I, I wrote. It says, um, God, we pray that you would make these children holy, that they would experience life to the full, follow you according to your commands. We pray for that you protect them from all the attempts of the adversary to pull them away from you. God, please keep them close to you. Help us to do whatever you call us to do in their lives. All that you call us to do to protect them, to teach them your word, to guard them, to shepherd their hearts, to help them follow you. God, we pray that you would ultimately do that work in their hearts that they might want to follow you. And that was the prayer, that was a prayer that I did some research and found out that it could have been a prayer like that, that Job prayed for his sons and by extension, the rest of the members. So God, this evening, I just want to thank you for all that you have done, all that you've continued to do we bless your name this evening. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. Your faithfulness all the way to the cross. We thank you for our children, my God, who goes on the highways and the byways, who go to school, my God, who go to work, God. When they're by themselves, God, you continue to protect them you continue to, my God, lift them up. You lift them up to the overflow this evening, God. Let your will be done in their lives. Continue to cover them with your precious blood. Oh, God, have your way. Have your perfect way this evening. Oh, my God. We bless all the house, the whole households who are on the Zoom, my God. All those who are listening this evening, God, you have your way in their lives, God. Grant them the peace that passeth all understanding. Grant them, my God, your faithfulness this evening. Give them the desire of your heart this evening so that they may not sin against you. I thank you, my God, for your faithfulness. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your love all the way to the cross this evening. You're God who has given us. You have went to the cross so that we can be saved, God. You die and you went down to hell. But the third day you rose, my God. And we, my God, can go back to the Father with you. So this evening, God, we thank you. We praise your holy name. Continue to bless the families. Continue to bless every member on the Zoom this evening. Bless the children. Bless them, my God, and give them the peace and more that pass it all understanding. So far, do you take the praise? You take the thanks. You 
take the honor and you take the glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake together, and running over. So you know what time it is? It's time for you to give. And in order to do that, all you need to do is go to our church's website. Go to www.fgany.org. That's www.fgany.org. And when you get to the webpage, all you have to do is click give and it will open up where you'd be able to pay your tithe, your offering, or give to any special ministry that you would normally give to. So don't forget, go to www.fgany.org and give.